Hey there, um, today I'm going to be showing you how to add the front zipper pockets to your noodle head 241 tote. Um, so you'll need your instructions, your pattern piece, your two um, center panels that have both been interfaced on the back, your two zippers, and your four rectangles that are seven inches by five inches. Two of them should have interfacing and two do not. And then you'll need a marking pen and some sharp scissors and your sewing machine. So we'll just be using one of our um, front center panel panels here um, and our pattern with this rectangle piece cut out on the lines of your pattern and one of your interfaced rectangles. So I'm looking at my pattern here. We are going to line this up a little bit away from the edge. Let's see. Actually, we're going to do it right side to right side. And you'll see here I didn't have quite enough interfacing to do this whole square, and it's fine if you need to use scraps of interfacing, and they'll just stick to each other once you lay them over. So we're doing right to right. And then I'm going to line my pattern piece up against my base piece here. And make sure that this rectangle is going to be kind of centered on this pocket lining piece and that this is about a half inch away from my edge. So it'll look something like this. Try to get it straight along this edge. And then I'm gonna draw just a regular ballpoint pen. Since my marking pen I have here at home is white, it's not gonna show up here on the back. So I'm just using a ballpoint pen. I'm going to draw this rectangle. Like that. So it's about evenly spaced on each side here and a little bit away from this edge. And I think that's looking good. So I'm going to put some pins so that this is going to stay exactly where I want it. So my next step, I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew exactly on this rectangle here. Okay, so I have my pieces here. Um, I'm going to start somewhere in the middle of this rectangle and I'm going to start with my needle down. So I'll press my needle up down button because I want it to stop in the down position when I take my foot off the pedal. And I'm just going to trace around the edge of this rectangle. I'm going to put it on slow so I can make sure I don't stitch over the edge. So I want to stop perfectly on that corner. Then turn. Now I've stayed perfectly on my line all the way around. Then I put my needle up to take the project off. So now I have this rectangle sewn all the way around. And what I'm going to do is draw something that looks like a Y see if you can see it here. So I'm going to start in each corner, make a little Y, my line down the center, 
and another little Y at this corner. I'm gonna use some sharp scissors and I'm gonna cut out along these lines, but I don't want to cut my, um, I don't wanna cut my stitching, but I wanna get very, very close to it, especially at the corner, you wanna go almost all the way to your stitching. So to start, I'm just gonna fold it and do a little snip here. just to get it started. So I have a little hole. You can also use a seam ripper to get that started. Then I'm gonna trim up. Angle off straight to my corner, like almost to my stitching. So now I have a little Y there on that side. repeat on this side. It's best to use the tips of your scissors so you don't cut through and cut too much. So now I have a hole through both layers with a little triangle at each end. I'm going to take out my pens and then I want to flip this pocket lining through the hole and push it to the other side. You can use your fingers to get it nice and flat at first and then you can go and iron it especially this little side is going to have a hard time staying open, but it, you can finger press. And go iron, and then you'll end up with a nice long rectangular hole that we're going to put our zipper in. And this is what the other side looks like. So I'm going to go iron and be back for the next part. All right, now I have ironed this. It is definitely not perfect at the corners, but it looks nice on the front. Um, I have a nice straight rectangle. So you're gonna take one of your zippers. You don't have to use a metal jean zipper. This is just what I happen to have. And we are gonna line it up. Centered inside of your rectangle. And I'm gonna pin this really well because we have to be really careful sewing. We're gonna to be top stitching around the rectangle. But especially if you're using a metal zipper, we don't want to hit that um, any of the metal teeth with our needle. So when you're sewing, we want to get pretty close, um, but to get around your zipper head, you'll need to move it out of the way. So I'm just going to pin up here at the top while it's closed. Make sure I get both of these ends that are back here. So I'm gonna do a top stitch really close to this folded edge all the way around. So I'm gonna start, I think right here in the middle. Actually, I'm gonna change my thread and then top stitch. Cause I want it to um, blend in a little bit more with this fabric. Okay, now I'm gonna start top stitching. You can put on a zipper foot if you would like at this point. I'm used to just using my regular foot next to zippers, so 
I'm gonna keep it lined up. And I'm trying to get about an eighth of an inch away from my folded edge of my fabric. So I'm here at the end. I'm gonna use my hand crank and go super slow in case I do hit the metal teeth of the zipper. I think I'm past it right here, but when I wanna go really slow and not break a needle, if you use your hand crank on the side of your machine, you can crank it towards you. And that is gonna make, let's see if I can show that. Hand crank is over here and I'm just gonna be turning it towards me to walk this over these like five or six stitches that are down here at the bottom of your rectangle. So I'm not using my pedal, I'm just using my hand for that. Let's go one more. Come back up this side. So at this point, I'm gonna be going around the zipper head. So I want to move that out of the way. Let's see if I can get it without taking it off my machine. I'm just gonna unzip. I'm gonna go right back here to where I was and now my zipper head is back here and out of the way and I can get around this corner pretty easily. So I still want to make sure that I'm keeping it centered. And I'm gonna use my hand crank again to go across this edge, especially if you have a zipper that is longer than what was called for, that's totally fine. We can trim it down after, but you'll be sewing over the teeth. If you have a plastic zipper, it's okay to sew over the teeth of these are the teeth. So if you have a plastic zipper, it's okay to sew over the teeth, just not the metal stopper that's at the end or the pull. I'm gonna line back up to where I started stitching. So I've got the back here, trim all your threads. So now I have a nice zipper with my top stitching around and this is what it should look like on the back. If you have a longer zipper, it might be down to here. You can just trim that up a little bit if you want at this point. Okay, so next step is to turn this piece over. And I should have made this a little bit closer to my edge. Um, I'm gonna do better on the next one because what we're doing this time is we're taking um, a piece of not interfaced rectangle, same size. We're gonna line it up, but we are just gonna be sewing around this rectangle. So I'll put some pins because we can't sew through this layer. We're just sewing these two layers and that's where I only have a little bit right here to work with to get this sewn together. But I can make it work and do the other one a little bit better. So I'm just pinning my two rectangles together free from this.
So I think it's going to be easiest to sew it if I turn it back to this side and then just flip each side out of the way as I'm sewing. We're going around the whole thing. So start here. So this is making the pocket that's going to be behind the slash zippers. try to line up my corners. This, this is going to be on the inside, so it's okay if it's not perfect. So this is going to be my hard side, which is this little, I only have this much to work with here, but we're going to make it work. So I'm folding this back out of the way, and I'm just sewing my two interior pocket pieces together down this side. go as close as I can to this edge. Holding this side up and out of the way. And then back to where I started. So I just need to double check that I caught this edge. Good enough. All right, so I got it close enough without, so it still looks good from the outside. Then when I open it, I have my nice pocket on the inside. So we'll do the exact same thing for the other side. You'll take your pattern Flip this over, the only difference is that you'll want this part folded out of the way because you'll have one pocket here and your other pocket here. So fold that out of the way. Okay, we're gonna be going on the front, All right? So we line up our edges. So the last time I went um, the corner of my inner face, I was about halfway. You want to go a little bit closer to the edge. So we're, we'll go a little bit closer to the edge on this one. We're going to go right to right, maybe a half inch or a little closer from the edge. And then I'll just make sure it's centered top to bottom. Should you come down a little bit. So now we're going to have plenty of room over here to catch that um, when we sew the pocket together. So I'm going to draw my rectangle like I did before. Put my pins in so it doesn't move. And then we're gonna do the same thing. Do your square around here, flip it through, position your zipper, top stitch, and then do your pockets together. And then you will have two slash pockets on the front of your zipper. All right, so I have my second pocket started here. Um, I kept this one out of the way when I was doing this one, but you can see this one was away from the edge and that's why it was hard to catch that. 
This one I did closer. So when I take my second piece and put it right side down to right side, and I'm just gonna be sewing my two interior pocket pieces together. Now, on this side, I have more to catch on this side of the zipper. So I did that by just um, putting this piece of fabric a little bit closer to the edge when I did my placement. It's not gonna change where the zipper hole actually shows on the outside. It's just gonna change the size of the pocket a teeny bit. Um, and you'll see that this zipper is longer than the other one that I had. So when I'm pinning these two layers together and when I'm sewing this rectangle together, I'm gonna use my hand crank and walk over these metal zipper teeth right here so I don't break my needle. But then you can just trim this off. Don't use your fabric scissors, just use your regular scissors or kitchen shears or something just to cut that extra part of the zipper off. And then we will have two separate pockets and it will look like this on the front. Cute.